All right. Um, so <laughs> we wanted to talk about this whole idea of um, uh, is gay as a choice. Gay a, as a choice. And um, who? Let's start. Let's start like this. Who? Who in this room chose to be gay? Who in this room woke up one day and decided it was time to pick a sexuality, and chose to be gay? Anyone? I was reading no, She Wired no, today. No, 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 not me, not really. Tracy, boo, you like that little plug? I was reading <laughs> She Wired today. Uh-huh. And uh, Katy Perry. Katy Perry commented. Now, I want to start here. Who knows how serious she was? You know, maybe she was like, ah, if this doesn't work out, I'm going gay. Yeah. Who yeah. knows? Um, but Katy Perry was said she's, she's engaged to some guy. Katy Perry, for those of you who don't know, is the girl that sang that recent song that was a huge hit called I Kissed a Girl. Now, we had, there was a lot of controversy in our community about some straight girl singing I Kissed a Girl, making a lot of money, and blah, 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 blah. I always had her back. I'm like, look, she sings the song from the point of view of a straight girl who kissed a girl and had, like, this really exhilarating experience about it. That was her experience. Yeah. I don't care if she wrote it. I don't care if someone else wrote it for her. It was a cute song. It was a fun song. It happens. Barsexuals. People, <laughs> <laughs> people write about their experiences. Oh, they funny. write songs about them. And we know tons of straight girls who've had that experience. Why can't she sing a song about it? You know what? Lesbians, back up and let her have a song about it. However... She's now saying she's engaged to some guy, and if it doesn't work out, and if he fucks up, she's going to go to women. And I kind of think she was being a little bit serious about it based on what I read in this article. And I will eat my words if, I'm, if, you know, if it gets back to me that she was just you know, making a joke. Right. Um, but she said something like, well, you know, women are alluring, and um, don't they walk in the room and they smell so good and you get curious about being closer? You know, my red flags went off. I'm like, you know what? You got a lot of lesbians to buy your record. You got a lot of lesbians to pay attention. Shut the fuck up now. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Now you're not doing us any favors. Now you can go be who you're a straight girl. You're engaged to a man. And that's fantastic. But if he fucks up, and you said if he fucks up, you're going gay, that makes it look like you have some choice in the matter. We also know it's bullshit. It's not how it works. Well, I mean, how many, and frankly, it's becoming like, it's becoming, uh, you know, the next big career move for every famous actress or female singer to say that they're bisexual because mm. it opens them up to the lesbian community who are crawling and fighting and excited about the idea that this person's bisexual. Well, frankly, I, I think a lot of people have have jumped on that bandwagon because, yes, it excites straight men. It makes them open to the gay community. It makes them look it like they're part of it. It gives them edge. It makes them seem creative and open. And let's face it, she's straight. Yeah. She might go sleep with some women. Um, but honestly, I see it as an act of stroking her own ego and getting a lot of women to fawn all over her and give her a lot of attention. And the truth is, she's not going to fall in love with a woman. You don't just decide to be gay, and that's what we wanted to talk about tonight. Right. How this, how this idea, I don't think Katy Perry understands how harmful it is for her to play with that idea, given the, the temperature of the times that we're going through right now and fighting for our rights, because we are fighting really seriously for our rights right now. Finally, I don't think we fought hard enough. There's our predecessors, who there's a lot of gay activists that came before us that, uh, you know, we don't even know their names, which I find sad, but... And, and I tip my hat to them. But as a community, we are now trying to wake up and rally one another to getting our rights. And people like that, I don't under, think they understand what a disservice they're doing to our community by pretending it can be a choice. It's not. Well, okay. It's, this is an interesting... I, I, after we picked the topic, I started reading... Like, I went online and, and Googled, you know, is is being gay a choice? And, of course, there was all kinds of things that came up. But there's also an argument within our own community where people are saying it's the wrong tactic for us to take, which I don't necessarily agree Wait, with. What's the wrong I, tactic? I missed it. Um, that using the argument that it's not a choice, meaning it's something that we're born as, we're born gay. We're like, okay, so I, and I have been saying this, I have been saying this for a long time. I believe that our biggest stumbling block right now, as far as getting our rights is that 
if you, if you study the religious right, and they're basically the people who are standing in our way right now, they're, they're the people that are funding Prop 8 and all this fucking anti-gay bullshit all over the country. Their argument that they use is that we choose to be gay, we're choosing an abhorrent lifestyle, okay? So I believe um, the way that we overcome this is that we, um, we convince people, A, that it's not a choice for most people, because then, if it's not a choice, it's not legal to discriminate against us. It should not be legal to discriminate against anything that is inborn. The problem with that is, is that we are then, yes, you're buying into the religious argument at all, which we shouldn't even have to entertain, whether or not it's a choice. We shouldn't we, have to. We shouldn't have to, honey, but here's the thing. If you're playing chess... You have to make all no, no, the moves uh, to get across the board. Yes, yes, I know. Well, let me finish what I was saying. Okay. What I was trying to say is a lot of the younger generation, and we've talked about this a lot on our show, has a, they have a totally different um, view about uh, homosexuality and gay. And it, honestly, most people under the age of 20 don't give a shit about whether or not you're gay. The, they, they're very uh, anti-label, they're very open to people, you know, there's a lot of kids, and I'm not saying everywhere, but in places, when I was in high school, and granted now I'm 34, but when I was in high school, no one was gay, everyone, if they were gay, was closeted and secretive, now in the same place where my, you know, 15-year-old niece lives, it's okay to be gay, it's totally different, and we're talking the Bible Belt. With their so, peers, who knows what their what their family is is putting in Yes, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to get to my point right now. Okay. So my point is this, they don't like the idea, the younger generation doesn't like this idea of this tactic of saying it's inborn, therefore you shouldn't discriminate. They're saying, why do we even buy into this bullshit? It shouldn't matter what you are, whether or not it's a choice or whether it's something whether you were born this way or if it's a choice, it shouldn't matter. So quit using that argument because then you're just buying into what do you think what of that the, though? Well, to some extent, I'm kind of like, I kind of see the argument that like if we buy into <laughs> hello pig dog, Comet's warning. <laughs> She's warning <laughs> things. Um, I kind of feel like if we buy into what the religious right how they're making their choices, we're going in the wrong direction. Religion should have nothing to do with the laws in our country or the rights. Thank you, honey. You're the rights that we have. So. Okay, agreed. Can I interject? If, if we're ta if we're tax paying citizens, it shouldn't. We shouldn't have to prove that it's inborn or or a choice. It shouldn't matter. The point is, is that it's it's discrimination and it shouldn't. It shouldn't happen. May okay. I, may I yeah. speak? Please. Okay. Because I don't necessarily agree with that viewpoint. I'm just throwing that out there. Now, okay. Number one, I do agree with that viewpoint. Having said that, number two, mm -hmm. we can sit on our, you know, we can sit on that and say, harumph, we don't need to make that argument. I know that we're right and all can be well inside of ourselves. However, that's not the way the world works. And the way the world works right now Religion and the Christian right have a lot of power, mm -hmm. a lot of power. So unfortunately, we can't just decide not to deal with them. We have to deal with them. We must deal with them. And that means we have to accommodate their arguments by having our side of their arguments heard. And our side of their arguments is that gay is not a choice. Mm -hmm. 